So in the previous video, um, you were looking at trying to maximize 20 over x to the x. Okay. Now in this video, what we're going to do is work through the calculus that will allow us to solve this exactly. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to maximize y is equal to 20 over x to the x. And so what we want to do is differentiate it, and we want to find the maximum point. Okay, so we want to find the stationary point for it. Now, before I differentiate it, what I'd like to do is just rewrite this as 20x to the minus 1, all to the power of x. Okay, that will make it a little bit easier for us. Now, to go ahead and differentiate that, uh, we've got the problem because we've got the x in the exponent. So we want to get rid of that. So the best way to do that is to log both sides first. So we're going to bring in natural log of L and y. So natural log of y is equal to the natural log of 20x to the minus 1 to the x. Now because we've got the x in the power here, the x can be brought down to the front. So ln y is equal to x ln of 20x to the minus 1. Okay. Now we are ready to differentiate both sides with respect to x. So I'm going to differentiate the left-hand side, and I'm going to differentiate the right-hand side. Now the left-hand side, to differentiate that with respect to x, we're using implicit differentiation. So the derivative of ln y will be 1 over y dy by dx. Okay? So if you haven't come across implicit differentiation yet, you'd need to go and look at that first. Then to differentiate the right-hand side, we would have to use a combination of the product rule and chain rule. So product rule of the first times the derivative of the second, so we've got x times the derivative of ln of 20x to the minus 1. So we would have 20x to the minus 1 in the denominator and the derivative of that in the numerator, which would be minus 20x to the minus 2. So this is the derivative of the ln of 20x to the minus 1. Product rule member, so we've got plus ln 20x to the minus 1 times the derivative of x, which is just 1. So ln of 20x to the minus 1. So we need to simplify this bit, really. So what have we got? We've got x times minus 20 over x, minus 20x to the minus 2 over 20x to the minus 1. So the, minus, the 20s will cancel. So I can bring the minus sign out to the front. Okay. So then we've got x times x to the minus 2 over x to the minus 1. Now, x times x to the minus 2, so that's x to the 1 times x to the minus 2, will be just x to the minus 1. So we've got x to the minus 1 in the numerator, x to the minus 1 in the denominator, and so we've just got minus 1. So that fraction simplifies to minus 1. And we've got this plus ln of 20x to the minus 1. So now what we want to do is we multi want to multiply both sides by y. So we're going to have minus 1 plus ln 20x to the minus 1 times y. But remember, y was 20x to the minus 1 to the x. So we can rewrite that as 20x to the minus 1 to the x. So this is the first derivative of this. Okay. Not a very pretty looking thing. Now, we know that stationary points exist when dy by dx is 0. OK, so we want to put this equal to 0. Now, either this bracket is 0, in which case ln of 20x to the minus 1 must be equal to 1, or 20x to the minus 1 to the x must be 0. 
However, this cannot be zero, okay? Um, so 20x to the minus one to the x, there is no value of x that will make that zero. Okay, so we don't need to worry about that. So the only solutions can come from this. Now, we need to solve this equation. So what we can do is we can then say, well, that means that 20x to the minus 1 must be e by eing both sides. So x to the minus 1 must be e over 20. So x is actually 20 over e. This is the value that you would have been homing in on so this is 7.35758823, okay, for calculator display. So if you substitute that into this, okay, so uh, 20 over E, so we're going to have 20 over divided by the answer, the power of answer, and that gives us 1568.051153. Okay, that is the maximum value of y. And the maximum value of y is given when x is equal to 20 over e.